Okay, I got a 15 year old Maytag dryer and it was not heating. So the first thing that you wanna do is you just wanna make sure that um, you're not plugged very often. If you look at the, uh, you know, at the exhaust coming out of your dryer, if that's full of lint, that's gonna keep it from drying. Uh, the dryer uh, vent was completely clean. So we had another issue, a very easy fix. So the first thing you wanna do is you just wanna take out these two little screws um, on this side, and then there's two screws on this side. Take those screws off, pull the dryer door off, and then this panel right here just pops right off. Pretty simple. And then uh, you're gonna have access to the bottom of the um, the bottom of the dryer, and then I'll show you what I did to fix it. Okay, so my dryer was not heating, and the reason being is the element would come on, and then it would kick off, and the gas would not ignite. I've got a gas dryer, so um, I was told by the. Uh, appliance repair place that it's not very often um, it's not a simple fix but actually it is quite simple uh, you see these two little pieces right here um, this costs eleven dollars and what you do is there's a screw that goes right there that you take off there's another screw in the back end right there you take that off these just slide up and you, you disconnect them here i put the new ones on there's the old ones and you put this back on right there i'm going to screw that down in a minute but what i want to show you is what happens when you turn your dryer on. See the element heating up? Gas should fire up here pretty soon. There we go. Gas wasn't firing at all before. Um, pretty easy fix. Any homeowner can do this. It literally only took five minutes once you have the right part. Um, anyways, dryer's working. Happy wife, happy life. Okay, I have a Maytag gas dryer that is about, uh, well, it's over eight years old and all of a sudden it stopped heating. So what I found out was that my igniter element was coming on, but the gas was not flowing through. And so what I needed to do was to test the cheapest thing first, which is this replacement part here, which is called a dryer coil kit, 279834. Uh, found it on Amazon for 10 bucks. It was actually shipped to my door the next day. Um, you'll watch my next video and you'll see how easy it is to put this in. It's, it's literally a five minute fix. Anyways, hope this helps. Um, can't believe it's something that simple. Uh, can keep things working. Happy wife, happy life.